Hey, MSN. My name is Ethan. Uh, looking forward to jumping into our study today. If you don't already, uh, go ahead and grab your Bibles and turn to the book of Ephesians. Um, that'll be in the New Testament. And then go to chapter, chapter 4. We're going to cover 16 verses today. And so what I'm going to do is what I um, am going to walk through is just kind of three big truths for you then to walk through and talk through in small group time. Okay, so um, Ephesians chapter 4, um, verse 16 verses, kind of the big overall idea is that we are one body with one purpose, or one purpose, one body with one purpose. Um, and so uh, I don't know about you, but I remember when I was in middle school doing group projects, okay? And even when I talk about doing a group project, some of you were like, yeah, I love group projects, and I identify with you. Some of you... So the other half of you are like, oh, I hate group projects, right? There's mixed feelings when it comes to group projects because there's different kind of like natural roles in group projects. You have the one, which is probably the obvious. This is the person who does all the work, who like gets everyone together, makes sure they stay on tags, stays up late, gets up early, like is doing all the work, right? You have the opposite end of that, which is me, right? Who are the people who don't do anything, Right? They just kind of show up, make some jokes, <laughs> and then they go, and you're like, hey, we haven't done any work, right? Usually they're the distraction actually then going in the right direction. Um, and then you have some in the middle that are kind of like really good at that or really good at this. Because for me, I was a guy who didn't really do any work up front, but usually I was, you know, if you ever had to like present in front of your class, I was your guy, right? So they would hand me the binder. All right, we did all the work, Ethan. Now it's time for you to show up. And then I would show up, smile, you know, ha ha, right? And then I would do the presentation. But for group projects, well, wh while I bring that up is that you could probably think about the church as like one big group project. But the tension that we see in the group projects is like you have to be on the same page. People have got to pull their weight. People have to understand the ultimate goal, uh, the ultimate direction. Like what is our purpose here? and those kinds of things. And for us, most of us, we're independent people, right? We want to do it on our own. We don't want to like depend on other people. So even those of you who like do it all, that's good. But the reason why you're doing that is probably because there's some control issues or trust issues. For those of us that like just show up and present, right? There's laziness there and slothfulness. And so all of that happens. But as a church, like as a body of believers, MSM, West Campus, Christ Chapel as a whole, we've got to work together if we're going to accomplish the goal that God has set before the church, which is bringing the world in redemption back to himself. And so, like I said, I just want to walk through three truths for you then to talk about in small groups, okay? The first truth is that as the church, we are united under one God and one faith. So as the church, there's one God that we serve and one faith that we are into, okay? Um, look at verses four, five, and six. It says, there is one body, one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father over all, who is over all and through all and in all. Okay, the point being there is that Paul is telling the church in Ephesus that we are one together. Each and every one of us, we need to make sure that we are going in the right direction and the right purpose. This is why when you come to the hive or maybe even when you're at, at home in a group, we talk about expectations. Hey, this is what we're here for, right? Reminding all of us that it's not like a story time during the teaching, that it's not time to get your friend to laugh and tell jokes during the singing, but like we are here and there's, there's purpose to it. It's not just hanging out with your friends. And this is what Paul is saying is that we have one God and one faith. The second truth is that as the church, we equip the saints. Look at verse um, 11 and 12. It says, and he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and the teachers to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, for building up the body of Christ. You know, a lot of you as students ask me and Chandler and Carson, kind of like, what do you do, right? And some of you are like, uh, do you get paid to do what you do? Um, and the reality is I love you all a lot. I do. Um, but uh, I don't show up uh, just because I like hanging out with middle schoolers, right? That's probably like a red flag. But your leaders do. They love you, okay? Um, but what I'm trying to express is that my job is not to like do all the work. 
But actually, my job and, and Chandler and Carson and even your small group leaders is they're not there to tell your friends about Jesus. They're there to help you tell your friends about Jesus. Our job is to equip you to do the work of the ministry. And trust me, I would love to tell your friends about Jesus, but I can't be in the classroom. Chandler can't be on the volleyball court. Your small group leaders can't always go into your home and talk to your brothers and sisters and moms and dads. There are places that only you can be. So then our job becomes equipping you to do the work of the ministry. You have a part to play in this group project. The third truth is that as the church, we build up one another with our gifts. Look at verse 16. It says, from whom the whole body joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped. When each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. And so what Paul is saying there is that we all have a part to play, right? We are one body with one purpose, but like you've got to be on the field. Like you've got to be a part of the team. You've got to be putting in the work and the effort. The question you kind of have to ask yourself is like, are you on the field, on the team, or are you in the stands just observing? Because God has gifted each and every one of you watching this video right now with a specific talent, with a specific ability and a gifting and um, a personality and all of those things, not for yourself, not to make others laugh, not, not any of those things, but to build up those around you that are sitting in that living room and to build up MSM West Campus. God has given you giftings and abilities and talents to serve his purpose, his one purpose of the one body. Um, I came across a, a pastor that was um, kind of had a, a covenant or was kind of like a promise that his, um, that his people, that his church promised to kind of keep. And um, I'm going to read it here and then you and your small groups um, are going to kind of like maybe rework it for something to give you some direction and some purpose as a specific group. And this is what it says. It says, believe and proclaim the gospel that Christ is my loving Savior and living Lord. Attend regular gatherings on Sunday and throughout the week. Contribute my prayer, time, and talents to our church, life, and outreach. And give sacrificially for the gospel ministry of our church and its mission partners. Now, I know for you, you're kind of like, I don't know what that means, but hopefully as y'all read that and it's in your small group guide, hopefully what you're able to do is you're able to rewrite that for you. What is a promise that you would say, I'm going to keep this so that we can be a part of the one purpose in one body? Because what Jesus says in Matthew 28, it says, make disciples of all nations, baptizing the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I've commanded and I will be with you always to the end of the age. So our goal is to be, make, and reach. And so the question you have to ask is, how can you be a part of the body, the one body, with its one purpose of making disciples? Hope you all have a great time in small groups. Love you all. Bye.